What's up, YouTube? This is Built on the Budget, as promised. Coming back with another video showcasing some things that you can do to your project on a budget. Let me explain something about a budget in the beginning, though. A budget is money that you got set out to build your project. And everybody's budget is just a little bit different. There are some people got $20,000, $30,000, $40,000 budgets, and then you got some people that's on a minimum budget. So when I say built on a budget, this may not be where you is at. It's just how I choose to do things. So uh, let's get with it with this video. Uh, today, as you seen by the thumbnail, I'm going from long to short, and I'm going to get ready to explain that. What we have right here, is a 1988 Chevy Silverado step side. Now this is the truck that you seen in the thumbnail that one time was a long wheelbase fleet side. And, and during the research and stuff on the internet, I found that you can make a long wheelbase or short wheelbase in a matter of an afternoon with minimum dollars, just a little bit of work, yeah? How many of these long beds that was in good shape that you passed up because you was looking for a short wheelbase? Well, hopefully, after this day, all long beds, let me put them on notice, all long beds is now endangered species because hopefully after watching this video, those that you passed up for a good deal, you'll go back and get. Now, I'm not gonna get all into uh, the how I done it and everything. You, you go down to the comment, you ask the question, and I will take and I will give you more information on how I done it. I wanna keep this video kinda short. I just wanna show you what all I done to it after I made it a short wheelbase. So let's look at it. Take a little walk around on it. And think, this was a long wheelbase, just like you seen in the thumbnail. This is the same truck. Matter of fact, my wife named it Smokey. Cause when I bought it to the house, she said, it looked like somebody set that truck on fire. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, so what I done was Right now, what you got is a 7.5 drop on this truck. A 7.5 drop, 8-inch rallies, 275, 60s, all the way around on it. And, and I'm going to do a little bit more because I want to tuck it in the back. So I'm going to drop it even more. So that's going to be uh, another video when I show y'all how I done that. But when we're talking about on the budget, as you seen in the thumbnail, it was a quick picture of the inside of the truck. But this time I wanna take you to the progress that I made on the inside of this truck. Look at it. Now you, you look in the, I want you to put down in the comments what you think about what you see now. And I'm gonna give you a little description and I'm gonna give you a price breakdown on why this is budget. I mean, I think it looks pretty neat. I think I done come a pretty good little ways so far. All right, what you see in this truck now is actually a product of LKQ. LKQ, LQK, I get them backwards, but you know which one, it's the three letters, LKQ. All right. I purchased these seats out of LKQ for $26 a piece. That's right, $26. You can't even have seats clean for $26. And $17 for the console. And $16 each for the door panels. Let's look at that again. $16 each for the two door panels. $26 a piece for the bucket seats. And they had a little, the little letdowns and stuff on them. $26. I mean, you tell me what you think. 
That, that's pretty clean, ain't it? They're not a turf spot on them anywhere. And then the console has the cup holders. That's pretty neat. And then as you see here, I had the, the cup holder up here also as an option. It's a lot of things inside of this truck that as you look at it, it's got a story behind it that I get to later, but I just want to focus pretty much right now on the fact of what I got in just that interior. So that's go to show you that if you get in your car, ride to your local Savage Yard, there's a lot of hidden jewels in the Savage Yard. Matter of fact, I'm going to do a, some segments on this channel, and I want y'all to, to stay in tune with it. That's going to be called a treasure hunt. When I tell you that I'm going to go on a treasure hunt, I'll show you what that's all about. Because that's when you find the hidden gems is when you go on the treasure hunt. So now, let's take it on. Uh, that, door, that door just closed so simple, man. Look at that. For 88. I, I kind of like that. So now let's let's just look at some of the things that I done to make this truck look like it did. I got a a flip kit on the ring, but because I made it a a short bed from a long bed, I was able to locate my springs where I wanted them, and I actually got a little more drop with the flip kit than I would if it was just on the standard truck. Uh, I'm gonna put the two inch drop shackles in the back, but it's other things I'm gonna do to the rear end that's gonna uh, make that work just fine. And then up in the front, I got three inch springs, two inch drop spindles in the front. Now, let me, let me tell you, LKQ, I went there, Found a set of drop spenders, two inch drop spenders for $50, $25 a piece for some Bell Tech drop spenders. Now, I, I had to know what I was looking for, and I had to realize what I was looking at when I saw them. But uh, that made this drop very cheap. Matter of fact, budget friendly that's how i like to call it budget friendly so you see what that treasure hunt produced and it's a lot more that's in these yards for stuff that you need so let's look on a little bit more about this truck let's see what else i got here now this is a rare find now a lot of people may say it's not rare but it's actually called a rear step delete kit and that kit comes with the piece on the side it comes with the roll pan in the back, and you see it's on it's on both sides. I haven't uh, fiberglassed it in yet because I want to take the uh, the bed off. It's got to come off anyway because there's some other things that I want to do to it. So, you know, this is where where I'm headed at. So, like I said. Built on a budget, 88 short bed with a lot of good things that I found on the treasure hunt. Now let's, let's come here and let's look up under the hood. I'm going to tell you a little something about what's going to happen right here. Alright, you see there's nothing under the hood right now and my plans is i'm going with a 5.3 or 6.0 whichever one i find first a 4l60 or 4l80 transmission whichever one i find first and i'm gonna find it on the treasure hunt and that's gonna be another video when i go looking for it when i find it and when i finally get it out I'm going to post that video and let you know. And uh, like I said, on the back of this truck, I want to do some more stuff to the frame, to the suspension, and I'm going to do it when I lift the bed back off because I got to run some uh, fuel lines 
from the tank for that LS swap. And I'm going to say this. I'm going to give a shout out to my boy Cool Car KJ down there in Georgia. He uh, did a video on making those gas lines from the fuel tank to the back of the engine, to the intake. And he gave a description of every part that you need. And he also did a video of them making every line one at a time. Very informative video. So like I said again, shout out to my boy KJ Cool Car down there in Georgia. And I'm going to take and put his uh, YouTube site right here. All right, y'all go check KJ out. He got a lot of nice content down there for the guys that like these OBSs. Matter of fact, he really inspired me. Uh, I watch his channel every day. Uh, he, 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 he got real good content. Very, very solid guy, man. That's, that's just one of them down there in Atlanta, uh, well, the Georgia area. And then his sidekick, you know, Batman and Robin. You got KJ and Money Mooch. Shout out to YouTube, brother. Been watching your channel. Hey, man, I'm, I'm happy for you. Keep, keep grinding, man. So, you know, in saying all of that, I'm going to keep you in tune with everything that I'm doing on this channel for this truck. This is the truck that I want to build. This is the one I want to build on this channel, and I want to do it on a budget, and I want y'all to ride along with me. So it's going to be very important for y'all guys to hit the notification bell because I'm starting to get used uh, to this got thing, a lot of man, good content and, uh, that's on the way. The uh, like I got some uh, subscribers that I'm going to pull up on. They got some nice stuff, man, that I want to showcase to y'all. And uh, I even got some more of my projects and stuff that I want to bring to this channel just to preview them and, and show y'all what they're all about. So, like I said, this is a 1988, and uh, I want you to take an... Uh, and look at it now. You seen the before pictures when it was a long bed, fleet side, and now you see it is a short bed, step side. You know, I really never liked the step side bed until a buddy of mine sent me a picture of one that was slammed to the ground. And then I said, oh yeah, uh, this is what I got to have. And that's what I want to do. Uh, LS swapping in. So uh, I want y'all to stay tuned, like, and subscribe. And leave a comment, man. If it's some information that you want to know about something that I told you today, hit me up in the comments, man. I'm going to read all your comments, and I appreciate everybody that, that has taken the time out to embrace Built on a Budget. Uh, I'm going to be producing some real good content. I'm going to get better at this thing, and I just want y'all to kind of bear with me and, and support me along the way. And so that's what it is for now. But what I want you to do, I want you to stay tuned for my next episode because my next episode is going to preview, bam, we call this one the Silver Bullet. It's going to be a real good informative video on that. So I want you to stay tuned to the next one. Until then, peace.